What's up guys, we're in China right now. And you may be asking yourself, if you're in China, why the heck are you posting a video on Trifate PH, the Philippines channel? Well, that's why. SM City, Tianjin. China. They got some big bad SM malls in China for some reason. It's one of the only countries they have SM malls in. And this is the biggest and the baddest of all of them, I believe. Oh my gosh. We're gonna go in there and explore and see what type of things it's got in comparison to the Philippines. Join us, join us, come on. Let's go. Come on. All right, everyone, welcome to the inside of the mall. It's given me mad SM Seaside vibes. Oh, is this Cebu, is this Sinalog? I can't even tell. <laughs> It's, it has like that fancy feel to it, like the luxury mall feel, because it has the gold and the white and the under lights on a lot of these things. Yeah, you know, you, you know it's luxury when the lights are hidden behind the like little cracks and crevices. It's just supposed to be a glow, not a light. A Watsons? We haven't seen many of these Watsons in China, but they're all over in the Philippines. I'm curious what the food situation is going to be like in here. Obviously, I don't think they're going to be uh, bringing over the Filipino classics. The only other Filipino food classic we've seen is Potato Corner, if you want to check out our other video. Yeah, that was a pretty interesting experience. Oh, they have a whole stage area. Is this Trinoma? Yeah, so this place is definitely stuffed full of the Chinese food up here. We're not seeing any Manganasals, Jollibees, or uh, Kefsa made it. Kefsa oh, the Kefsa. always makes it. Kearney Kern, my boy. I mean, this is a pretty extensive one. It's not like Seaside where it's just like the loop. It's the loop plus more. They went all out for their China malls, I guess. Because this area that we're in, it wasn't like an extensively busy area. It was just kind of like a bunch of office buildings and then this mall. Yeah, it was, it's a very interesting location and that's why it's not super duper busy here. It's still decently busy. Here's what it looks like on the outside. We don't have our drone to fly above it here. It's a pretty interesting looking mall. It's massive, what the heck? I mean, look at that. It's literally like Seaside, but they added two extra Seasides on the sides of the Seaside. That's insane. And that seems like it's another SM1 there in the corner or they're building another one soon. Philippines, do you feel scammed that they built this one in Tianjin and not on the Seaside? And what the heck, look at this place is like the widest place in an SM mall. I don't feel like I'm crammed like little sheep in a pen. It is extremely wide. What the heck? Very intriguing. It isn't too busy in here. It's pretty empty. I'm not seeing like anybody in any of the stores. No, yeah, that is very interesting. People are kind of just walking around, that's it. Are they planted here by Mr. Sai? Uh, SM corporate CEO to make it look busy. Mm -hmm. Does he have some ploy that he's playing to make SM look more epic in China? Let us know in the comments what you think. <laughs> we were sitting in here for a few minutes before transferring some files and they have a Chinese version of the SM Super Mall song. I hope we can hear it again just to show you guys the oh, immaculateness of this. They have Volcano 6 Pizza. That sounds incredible. The brands here are a little bit different than the ones we've seen throughout China. And this is a big thing in China, durian pizza. Oh. Oh. I know, I know, sounds awful. It is, it is completely empty. This isn't the Fat Man pizza. I saw Fat Man pizza somewhere. Whoa, look at that. Oh, whoa. Oh, there, there's the mall layout right there. The water, we're in the water ring. Wow, that is such an interesting looking thing. It's like, a, it's like the Destiny logo. It's like a Porygon Z. SM Super Mall, it'll always be super. The only two brands, uh, there's three brands here in, in uh, China that have theme songs. One of them is Mix You. The second one is Potato Corner, and the third one is SM. I, I'm sensing a trend here other than Mix You. Uh, two thirds of them are Filipino. Oh wow, they got a market inside. They don't have anything like this in any of the Filipino SM malls. What the heck? Mom's cooking, is that like grandma's home? This is something that happens with US chains too. They make way cooler things in their international buildings and their international menus. I have not seen this anywhere in yeah, the this Philippines. Yeah, is way cooler. What the heck? I mean, we saw like in the new Gateway 2 mall, they had something like this, but that's not SM. We've never seen this in an SM. 
a revolving hot pot. They have the Chinese street food. Wow, yeah, revolving hot pot. Just right here in a food court. Interesting little street food area. That's something we're used to, like I said, as Americans, is uh, American chains and American restaurants uh, being way worse in America than they go international and they're like, hey, let's step it up because we gotta make these people like us. The song is playing. It got really quiet all of a sudden. Oh, see, you hear it? Always be super. Why is that not saying super? For some reason, the Chinese part is really quiet, and I think they just spliced in the original SM Super Malls part. They couldn't refilm the whole thing. Dang, now that. Oh, okay, there's lunch, Kutsa, down to clown any day of the week. What the heck are those? Oh, ice cream thing. Uh, KFC here is way cooler. They have their own coffee shop, milk tea, and ice cream place, and their ice cream, which we didn't try, is like fancy Hokkaido ice cream. What the heck is this place? Uh, epic? That's all I can say. Ni come in ah. Oh! Super ribs rice. I love ribs rice. Interesting that they chose to do the arcade. Instead of a time zone, it's just a bunch of claw machines and VR stuff. Oh no, it's Dance Dance Rev. And this dang Toy Story guy is all over the Frackin' Blade. We don't, we see this Frackin' Monkey Dude, Wukong, and that Toy Story Bear Fracker more than anything in this country. It's insane. Those are quite the characters. And that Megatron Frackin' guy. Yeah, the Japanese Fracker. Yeah. Huh? Here's all the foods. As you can see, extremely different food options. In the Philippines, it's basically all the same. And SM ones, it's all the same brands that have like the deals with SM, it seems like, because literally every single mall has those same brands. Yeah, so I wonder if like, if we go to another SM mall in China, if it'll be the same exact ones or what? It might be, SM seems to like the brand. Oh my gosh, look at this place. Hey. Self-service hot pot. Big oh, pizza. It's Fat Man Pizza. It's finally here. We've been seeing ads for this since Beijing. Where'd the Fat Man go? Fat man. Oh, there he is. All right, durian pizza time. It smells cheesy. Whoa, is it a buffet? What the heck? It's a pizza buffet? That's pretty crazy. We only have a few hours left in this country. So it looks like we're gonna spend an hour of it at a pizza buffet. Ho, 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 ho. We have been coerced into the buffet now. Some Take epic taro. pasta. All right, let's do this. A Chinese buffet. Who would have thought we'd be here? A Chinese pizza buffet. <laughs> True. Japanese teriyaki fried rice. That sounds like pizza to me. Udon is painted in the sauce. Yeah, sometimes the translations aren't very good. Udon painted in the sauce. There's not much udon left. Hopefully it really does last till 17 and they uh, replenish some yeah. of this stuff. Yeah, hopefully. Oh. Some bokers. And some bokes. Creamy mushroom bacon. All right. Sichuan style. All right, we gotta get some Sichuan style. It are incredibly small pieces. I'll save the durian one for you. Oh, thank you very much, of I course. Awesome. You're awesome. I'll get some mushroom bacon pizza, because why not? I'm just a mushroom fiend. You could get some cream of pumpkin soup. Interesting. There's some interesting stuff here. We're just gonna have to see what the heck we can get. They gotta make your own waffle section. That's my favorite type of pizza, Italian pizza. Oh, come back, my Italian. Doesn't... Doesn't seem the freshest, but hopefully it's decent. No, definitely not. Bon Bon chicken. He has some dang nugs. I'll just grab a chicken nug here. Just one nug. Oh, here's he has some more of this raw ton pepper. That's super spicy or what? Oh, these are crunchy as nuts. French fry. Egg tart. Chicken, on chicken onion ring. What does that even mean? Just getting everything here. This is quite the plate I have. Oh, now Isaac will get a plate and we'll eat some. Let's go. Well, I never expected to eat at a pizza buffet in China, but here we are. They don't even have many of these in the U.S. anymore. Wow. And it's more than just pizza. It's more than just durian pizza specifically. They have like a self-service ice cream thing too. Like you can just scoop right out of the thing. This is sick. So we're just going to go through and eat a bunch of the stuff here at Big Pizza. And uh, 
I mean, we're basically just in this mall waiting for the airport because we had a flight in like three hours. So <laughs> this is close to the mall and we're here and eating a buffet. I'm returning to the Philippines. And I'm returning to the US of A. Chicken onion ring. Rough, chickeny and oniony. It's better than a normal onion ring or better than a normal chicken nugget. What? Bilo Bilo? Yeah. It's good. Tastes like some sago. I don't remember what type of pizza this was. Oh no, this is a spicy one, I think. Oh, the Sichuan? No. Oh. It's actually pretty tasty. Very, very different for a pizza. What was this one again? I don't remember. Oh, you almost one bited that cracker. Pretty good. A little bit of chicken on it. All I can taste is the chicken. It's literally a Italian. Oh yeah, it's weird. Oh, <laughs> did that go down the throater a little bit? That's the worst out of the bunch. Oh, that's very disappointing. I got that because I just wanted it and now I'm disappointed. It's not Italy enough. Yeah, easily the worst out of the bunch. It just kind of tastes like sauce. That's it. Let me wash it down with pink drink. I just got mystery drinks. It was all in Chinese. So I don't know what it is. What's the worst it could be, right? Oh, it kind of tastes like dishwater. Literally doesn't have any fruit flavor or literally anything. Is it warm? No, it's cold. Okay. The cup felt warm when I first got it, but it literally tastes like nothing. Pink drink in Chinese? What are you? Chick Nug? Not bad. Kind of reminds me of a McNugget a bit. At least like crunchy on the outside like that. Not bad. Sichuan chicken spicy, hopefully. Crunchy, much better than the McNug. Solid. The Japanese fried rice, cold. Interesting that in China they have Japanese fried rice that at a it. pizza buffet. Very interesting. A little soy sauce, a little sweet. Not bad. Yakisoba, whatever the frag the translation was. Pretty good. That's actually decent. It's yakisoba. Yeah, I mean you get to try so many different things too on this. It's the greatest restaurant ever. It's not just more than just durian pizza. It's a buffet. But. Also, it is durian pizza. Are you telling me you just got durian pizza? Durian pizza. Oh, no thank you. Let me wash this down with a mystery drink. Doesn't taste like anything. What the heck is this? Why are they, are they just food coloring water? Might be just like slight variations of the tea drinks. This one was like a fruit pizza. Oh, interesting. Maybe that'll be good. It's got like cinnamon apples on top. Oh. And then cheese. Oh. The cheese ruins it. Is there sauce? No. Cheese and fruit. Not bad. They love the carbonara in the Philippines, so I got some here in China now. I wonder if it'll be Filipino style or Italian style or Chinese style. None of the above. It tastes like nothing. Oh, that sucks. It's like really thick noodles, like thicker than you'd expect noodles, and then they just crushed down and that's that's it. That's the whole experience that I'm experiencing right now. Dang now it. And I got this like cheesy chicken. Oh. Cheesy, chickeny, mm. crunchy. The chicken stuff's pretty good here actually. That might be the star of the show. Yeah, it is good, pretty good. And of course, egg tart. A dang egg tart. Never really liked egg tarts that much, so I don't know why I got it, but. Just to remind yourself how delicious it is. Maybe it's the best egg tart yet. Oh. Best? Yet. Ooh, ooh. I mean, we, we gotta go get more to see if we like this place or not. Let's go. Plate number two got a little funky. Skew. Wow, that's a crunchy boy. It tastes exactly like, wow, well, like Western Chinese food that we had. The seasoning is very similar to the bread. We got some taro bake, whatever the heck that means. Let's try it. It looks like just a glob right there on your plate. Tastes like taro. Got some boker. This had three chili signs on it. I mean, three chili signs. Don't remember what this was. It tastes like corn. The corn ball? I guess. That was actually really tasty. I like that. I mean, they do call us the corn ball. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> French fry. Oh yeah, this is soggy. Bread. Bread. It was in like the dessert section, but oh, slightest, slightest, slightest sweet, and that's all I can taste. That's really interesting. This was the last and final taro ball. Very hot. Chewy. 
you would assume the taro bowl is just filled with this. Uh, it doesn't taste like that at all. And then I got the Hawaiian pizza because it was fresh and it looked kind of good. It's solid. It's a solid pizza. What are you giving that slice, Mr. Dave Portnoy? I mean, it's solid. It's pretty good pizza. It's no New Haven pizza, but look at that. No flop. I mean, that's a 7 2. And uh, Coke. Unlimited Coke? You can't get that many places in Asia. And by the way, this was only 66 RMB, which is less than $10 for a whole buffet. Yeah, a lot of the Philippines buffets, I mean, they have cheap ones in some places, but a lot of them typically get from the 500 to 1,000 peso range. Yeah, so this one's extremely affordable for, like, an actual buffet. What's on your plate here today, sir? I got the same sauger french fries. I was very scared when I picked up this bread, this French cinnamon bread. It didn't give at all. It might be the crunchiest thing I've ever had in my entire life. I hope so. Let's see. Oh my gosh. It's actually super flaky. That was magnificently crunchy. Like it crunches down into flakes. Oh. It's pretty good actually. I'm very surprised by that. Passion fruit pineapple pizza. That sounds so awful. Looks like the passion fruit's like at the tip. Oh, I saw some seeds in there. Awful. It's really sweet. Like it's like a passion fruit jam almost. The cheese gets drowned out, but I'm still like crunching on the texture of the cheese and I don't like that part as much, but it's actually pretty good. Interesting. I would just rather not have it on pizza. And that's all I got for mine. I got some more Italian just to fuel myself. How dare you get an Italian pizza? And not a spicy pizza. Yeah. All right, for dessert, we got the ice cream. They turned off the chocolate fountain, and I didn't feel like making a dang waffle ice cream. New Zealand ice cream. Strawberry, chocolate, chocolate and cookies and cream. Let's start with chocolate. It's like a banana split almost. Without the dang banana. I actually got the banana. Um, boop. The chocolate is very chocolatey, like, kind of like a chocolate milk. Good. Cookies and cream. Cold. Mm -hmm. It's a solid cookies and cream. It's actually, for how frozen and hard it was to get out, it like instantly melts when it goes in your mouth. It's that New Zealand quality. They have the really special cows that make really melty ice cream. They go, hey, I'm a kiwi. Uh... Oh, oh. Chopper. Oh, wow. I mean, seriously, it just instantly melts in my mouth. This, this one's really good. Strawberry, my favorite. Wait, hold up the strawberry on your fork again. Wow, it looks almost orange in the camera. It's so very weird. Guys, it's pink, I swear. Guys, I worked my heart out for those four dang scoops. And I'm going chopstick style to end off the meal here. We're in China for one last day. This one's probably vanilla. Otherwise, it's mango. We'll see. That's a big bite. It's really cold. Some good ice cream. Vanilla. Yeah, I'm very surprised by how icy it is. It actually melts really well and it's really creamy. I'm sorry, Mix You, but it's better than Mix You quality. What? That mango is delicious. I want that mango ice cream in the Philippines. Give it to me. Give it to me. And then uh, raspberry sorbet. Very raspberry. Mm. This one's like a popsicle. It looks like a popsicle. Delicious. Well, that was really tart actually, but it's delicious. Don't you wish there was a cheap buffet that had pizza and chicken in the Philippines or the US like this? I do. I wish it had like more constantly floating stuff, but yeah. there's not enough people here. No, there's not. And I wish it had cactus bread. Mm. Please, cactus bread. I want bread. some uh, pizza ranch right now. Mm. I don't care if I diarrhea later. Mm. What a buffet. Wow. We don't have much time to explore the rest of this mall. We want to do some more stuff, but it also doesn't seem like there's too crazy of stuff going on here. It's just your usual SM mall. It's just uh, really big. Obviously, it's not as big as the Mall of Asia, but it seems like almost bigger than it because it's so wide and so open. If this was five stories tall, it would definitely be bigger. Yeah, it would. Really cool. It's cool to see SM, a company that we're very familiar with, in another country like China. So hopefully you guys enjoyed seen it as well. We're gonna have more PH stuff coming soon. Maybe a return to the Philippines is happening too. What? The moment we've all been waiting for? Ducks back in the Philippines? He's back. Holy not. Thanks for watching everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed. Mannequins out.
very Filipino.